state of emergency has now been declared in California. It is unimaginable. They woke up to a massacre here Thursday morning and on the same day, an out of control wildfire erupting. And tonight there are now several fires burning here in California. You can see this home right here behind me. It's been incinerated. They believe that burning embers actually landed on this home and then it erupted into flames, burning down this home and then the home behind it. And it shows just how easily these fires are spreading across this state. The flames burning through neighborhoods here in Southern California throughout the night. It hasn't let up. The winds fanning the flames right along major highways. Today, racing down the mountains toward the coast, jumping the 101 here. And in the nearby city of Malibu tonight, they have now tweeted the fire is, quote, out of control. All residents evacuate now. And that's where we begin tonight with ABC's Clayton Sandell on the scene with that urgent effort now underway. They say the fire is now headed to populated areas. Tonight, an urgent effort underway right now to get families out of harm's way across Southern California. Powerful, fast moving, destructive wildfires burning a hole through LA and Ventura counties. In Malibu, firefighters in hand to hand, house to house combat. The Woolsey fire triggering mass evacuations. Traffic on the Pacific Coast Highway backed up for miles. The traffic is getting heavier and heavier and slower and slower. First responders racing to get families to safety. Report of three people trapped in a house. When you have 40, 50, 60 mile an hour winds blowing fire at your heels, the importance is to get people out of harm's way. We met Ashley Snodgrass just seconds after she and her boyfriend escaped from their home near Malibu. The fire people are there, but there's nothing that they can do. And you think your house is on fire now? Yeah. <laughs> look at the flames and look at that smoke and how it's blowing. That shows you the strength of the winds. The fire exploding overnight. Now more than 35,000 acres. You can see what happens when these wind gusts pick up. Just a little bit of smoldering debris suddenly sends up showers of embers, and those embers can go downwind and start new fires. Flames jumping the 101 freeway before dawn, shutting it down. Tonight, dozens of homes are destroyed, and the fire shows no signs of slowing down as evacuation orders and anxiety keep spreading. And David, this evening you can see lots of activity to try and save homes on this street, but two here have already been destroyed. And if you take a look over here, this home has been completely gutted by fire and is collapsed right in front of us here. The problem is so much wind and that's going to last late into the night. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel and don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.